Hello, bonjour. My name is Jen Fitzgerald, and I am the Deputy Director of U.S. Admissions for the American University of Paris. Now, even though I work for a school that is located in Paris, France, I am based in California. So I am in your same time zone, at least, and I would be your admissions counselor from this point all the way through until orientation and being a student at AUP. And so feel free to always reach out to get any of your questions answered. And let's get started to learn about AUP through a brief video. And then we'll jump into all the logistics and information. So first, enjoy. When it comes to choosing a university, you're looking for something different. You're looking for a place where you won't get lost in a crowd with personalized attention and guidance tailored to meet your academic needs. A university that fosters intellectual curiosity, that helps you develop critical thinking skills and prepares you for a global career. Whether you've already lived in three countries or you've never had a passport, you know the world is a bigger place and you want to be a part of it. You're looking for a vibrant community of students from all over the world with diverse backgrounds, cultures, and languages who bring with them a sense of adventure to live and learn internationally. You're looking for a supportive educational atmosphere with intimate class sizes allowing you to engage in diverse and dynamic discussions and one-on-one -on -one time with faculty so you get to know your professors and they get to know you. You're looking to develop your leadership skills through extracurricular activities, clubs, sports, and student government. You're looking to travel, to be immersed in new cultures, with the opportunities to learn in real life environments beyond the classroom walls. You're looking for a place to expand your horizons, to learn and grow as a global citizen. We think you found it. Welcome to the American University of Paris. Now, AUP is a private, urban, liberal arts American university that is located in Paris, France. All the classes are in English. We offer four-year degrees. Students have that holistic style of education where they take general education, elective, and major classes. Plus, to apply to AUP, you can use the Common App, and we accept FAFSA as well. So it's a really like an American school that is just located abroad. Now, with that said, we have 1,000 undergraduate students, and they come from about 100 countries, so all over the world, all different backgrounds, beliefs, nationalities, and ethnicities. So if you're in a class of, on average, 15 students, you could have eight countries represented with all different perspectives, not only based on students' research, but also based on the culture they came from, and when it gets down to it, also how their brain is wired. Now, along with our students being from all over the world, the faculty come from 30 countries and 70% of the faculty speak three or more languages. We have um, over 20 majors and a bit under 40 minors at AUP. So these are the majors in the arts and communication fields. So the most popular is global communications, but we have um, fine arts is another great one where we have a brand new building, Montessori, that I'll get to in just a little bit. These are the business majors. Um, so I would say the most popular is international business administration, but we have a wide variety to choose from. Computer science and psychology, some more of those science majors here. We don't have any medical programs and no engineering besides computer science, but mostly everything um, I would say in like the environment, computer or like psychology, you'll see a gender studies major as well. Those are covered at AUP. And last but not least, history and politics. So here the most popular major, or the most common, I should say, would be international and comparative politics. But if you're thinking of going into law school, history, law, and society is most similar to what a pre-law track would be. Now at AUP, we have a big focus on experiential learning and interdisciplinary education. So you'll find that many of the classes take you out into the city to explore. One example of a class we offer every semester is Paris Through Its Museums. It's an art history class taken on Mondays and Wednesdays, but on Friday, students visit the museums in real life to see the art that was once in the textbook now come to life 
in person. Beyond that, we offer 45 study trips per year. And these are where students travel all over the world with their professor and classmates to experience what they're learning in the classroom in person. Shakespeare in London, psychology in Cairo, and film in the Netherlands are a few of those trips offered per year. Along with those, we have cultural excursions, which are fun trips mainly throughout France, like a chocolate walk or a theater performance in Paris, but also visiting cities or regions like Normandy and Nice for the weekend. Now at AUP, we have a career development team, and they assist students with everything from resume and cover letter proofreading to mock interviews. There's also the Global Talent Brochure, which is a booklet of our students' resumes that the career office sends to employers all over the Paris region so that students can not only get internships, but even jobs in the future too. Um, students have interned and worked at big companies like United Nations or UNESCO, Chanel and Dior, Google and Microsoft, but even smaller, more local companies as well. Um, you can also get internships or jobs in French or English. Um, although, of course, being in a French speaking country, there are more options if you do speak French. But at the same time, there's quite a few English options as well. So that shouldn't deter a student from coming to AUP. We have 20,000 alumni, 145 countries all over the world. So if you're looking for a global career, then AUP could be an amazing starting point for you. Now let's talk about the campus for a little bit. We are located in the 7th arrondissement, which is the 7th neighborhood, the same neighborhood as the Eiffel Tower, which you see to the left, the gold dome on the right, although the Invali is where Napoleon's buried, and we are woven right in between. If you were to walk across campus, it'd be about a 15 minute walk if you're taking your time, uh, but typically between classes, it's five or 10 minutes walking distance, so everything's very condensed. We're also surrounded by various businesses, cafes, restaurants, apartments, and museums. In the next few slides, we'll be going through a couple of our buildings. This first one is our largest building on campus called Quai d'Orsay. It has a brand new library, IT center, research centers, career development, advising, classrooms and faculty lounges plus a conference room overlooking the entire city of Paris. Now behind Quai d'Orsay is the building Combs that's actually connected by a glass roofed walkway between. And Combs has a lot of other student service centers such as housing, for example, um, along with classrooms and faculty lounges. But on the first floor is the Amex Cafe, which is a popular place for students to hang out, grab a bite to eat, um, we have open mic night sessions there weekly and a nice patio area when the weather's great. Now back to what I mentioned before about that brand new fine arts center. This is Montessui. It's our closest building to the Eiffel Tower and is also a center for the arts. So we have our first ever theater that holds 70 people. Along with that, there is uh, two uh, studios for fine arts majors, plus plenty of wall space for students to display their artwork. So we've done lots of restructuring or I guess constructing campus over the last few years. And this is the last thing as far as I'm concerned. So the campus is really fresh right now. Grinnell was also recently renovated over the last couple of years. And again, this has more um, classrooms, faculty lounges and offices. Um, but overall, like I said before, we are truly woven right into Paris. So it's that urban campus woven right into the city. The next two slides are photos of the campus area. So I can't say it enough that we are indeed woven right in. And so you'll have that beautiful French architecture on the outside, but the more modern classroom setup on the inside. Now, moving on to student life, we have 100 clubs on campus. They are all student run based on students' interest. Paris Fashion Council, Speech and Debate, Theater Club, AUP Green are a few of those 100 clubs we offer on campus. Along with that, we have events held weekly like the open mic nights or even annually like um, the World's Fair. Very similar to a college fair, but every table represents a different country with the food from their homeland. So bon appetit. 
Along with that, one of our traditions on campus is at the end of orientation week, students board the River Seine as a the, as like the final welcome to Paris and of course to AUP. But besides that, we have a couple sports like basketball, soccer, volleyball, tennis. We even have things like boxing, ballroom dancing, equestrian. Um, there are volunteering opportunities. I mentioned before you can intern, uh, but along with that, you can also work about 20 hours per week under your student visa. We do not offer Greek life. You could always travel to Greece instead. Lovely spring break trip, highly recommend it. Um, but beyond that, we have a very tight knit community on campus. So students come to campus and get involved. Now, although we have a tight knit community on campus, I will say that housing operates a little bit differently than you're probably used to. So at AUP, we still have a housing office that will find and furnish the residences for our students. But instead of them being like a traditional dorm that's on campus, students live in apartments all over the city. So we do cluster students in various buildings and neighborhoods to make sure that they have that community feel. But along with that, um, these apartments do come with their own bathroom, kitchen, and sleeping area, of course. Some as like a studio, others as like a one bedroom apartment. Some options have roommates, others do not. So you can choose between the two. And the average distance to campus is a 30 minute metro ride. So it will involve a little commute, but that's just part of the culture in Paris. So um, rest assured, you'll still be able to make those tight connections once on campus. Then, of course, we don't have a meal plan on campus because students have their own kitchen areas. So most of the time, students will cook their own meals for breakfast and dinner. But for lunch, there are plenty of places to eat all over the campus area with student discounts. Lastly, housing is guaranteed and required for first year students during their first two semesters at AUP. Moving on to the application requirements. To apply to AUP, you would submit the common application or apply to AUP directly. And we also require two essays, your activities list, two letters of recommendation, and your transcripts. We are test optional, always have been even before COVID, so test optional in the truest sense of the definition. But the average SAT is about 1340, and 28 is the average ACT. When the admissions office reads applications, we of course look for students who are well-rounded and open-minded, independent, mature, adaptable, since those are all qualities that you would need to truly thrive in Paris, plus get involved on campus, of course. Uh, we also look at the courses you took, the courses that were offered, the grades you received, and 3.3 is the average unweighted GPA, but there's not a required GPA to apply to AUP. I highly recommend that you also mention anything international about your background or your career goals. So if you hold multiple citizenships, speak different languages, if your parents are from a different country, if you've hosted an au pair or been an au pair, maybe you've studied abroad in high school or uh, maybe you have traveled to five European countries, it's really helpful for us to know really all of your international experiences and, and desires so we get a sense of how much of a global explorer you already are, but also how much more you want to develop into one in the future. Here you'll see the costs of scholarships and financial aid. So um, the total cost of tuition for this current school year, 22 to 23, is a little over 34,000 euros. Living is about 18,000 euros. The total is 53. As of a recent exchange rate, it's approximately $55,000 per year. So it's doing really well at the time of this recording. So hopefully it stays that way for you. When students apply to AUP through admissions, they will be um, really like reviewed for merit scholarships at the same time. So there's no need to submit a separate application for merit aid. But let's say that you are accepted and would like to apply for more financial aid. You can fill out the AUP financial aid application and FAFSA to be considered for the merit need combination scholarships. So the highest award overall covers 100% of tuition, but I'll admit that is a bit rare. So the average award covers one third of tuition. 
Students may also use um, the Stafford subsidized, unsubsidized federal loans, along with Parent Plus loans, and Sally May private loans to attend. And if you happen to attend a school that has IB and you're on way to receiving the IB Diploma Scholarship, if you score 32 or higher on the IB Diploma exam, then um, you will have an automatic scholarship. So you would receive either the A, uh, excuse me, either the IB scholarship or you would receive the Merit Need Combo Award, whichever is higher of the two. So overall, um, when you apply to AUP during your senior year, keep in mind that the admissions office begins to review applications in mid-November. So from that point forward, you'll hear a response within a couple of weeks. In February, the admin or the financial aid office begins to review applications for financial aid. In April, students may go to admitted student receptions or um, begin the visa process, start applying for loans. But ultimately, May 1st is that confirmation deadline. So after that, students would make their choice in housing and begin the course registration process. And over the summer, the admissions office helps students with all of these steps and more with a strong focus on the visa process. Well, that is a wrap from me. Thank you, merci for listening today and for your interest in AUP. Um, you'll see aup.edu is our website, so feel free to take a peek at our policies and campus life. Um, along with that, our Instagram is at AUP Admissions. And on most Tuesdays of the year, we have student takeovers where they actually take over our Instagram to answer questions and post video, uh, videos and photos of what's going on on the campus. So once more, thank you, merci. I look forward to working with you and hope you have a wonderful day.